Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to give one of our Sesame Street characters a Play-Doh haircut. First we need to put down the plastic mat and you can see all of the characters from our Play-Doh set are on the mat. There's our hairdressing chair and to make the mat go flat I'm going to put these Play-Doh containers down. We also have our orange scissors for Play-Doh cutting, a yellow tool, and a blue tool. Now which character needs a haircut today? It's going to be one of our favorites, Elmo, and we're going to use the white Play-Doh. Now before we can put Elmo in the chair, we need to spin the chair so the centerpiece is flush with the bottom of the chair. And to make Elmo's hair grow, we spin the chair again so the centerpiece pushes the Play-Doh out of the little holes. Oh dear, somehow Elmo is backwards in the chair. Let's turn him around. I think that's long enough. Now it's time to cut and style Elmo's hair. We'll use our orange Play-Doh scissors. Let's see if I can style Elmo's hair using my fingers. I have to be very gentle because the Play-Doh hair breaks off quite easily. The pieces of hair fell off in the front, so I'm going to add some bangs. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. As the weather is cooling, we thought we'd have one more beautiful day filming our toys jumping in the lake. This time we're going to use the little tyke slide. Our toys get in the water and then float or swim to shore. Which toy should go first? Well, Elmo's first in line. He climbs up the stairs of the slide. Ready, set, go! And Elmo starts to swim to shore. Who's next in line? It's Oscar the Grouch, and he's going in his garbage can. If it was you or me, that wouldn't be safe. But since he's a toy, it's just for fun. Do you see Elmo? 
He's already halfway to the shoreline. Great swimming, Elmo. Now who's the last toy to go down the slide? It's Grover, and he is third. Now all three toys are in the lake, slowly going to shore. Usually there's a little breeze that pushes them. Hey look, Puppy's at the shoreline waiting for them. I wait and I wait. And this time, the toys aren't making it to shore. They almost appear to be floating out towards the middle of the lake. I just have short waterproof boots and jeans on, so I can't go in the lake to get them. I don't know what I'm going to do, tiny fans. Maybe I'll use this long stick and use it as a fishing rod to try and push the toys to shore. I try, but the stick is not long enough to reach the toys. Hmm, I am going to need to use my problem solving skills. These toys definitely aren't going to float to shore on their own. And then I have an idea. I have my paddle board. I put on my life jacket and my gear is ready to go. Don't try this at home, tiny fans. It's for adults only. I have to leave my camera on shore so it doesn't fall into the water. Off I go. And now I'm back. I saved all three toys. There's Oscar, Elmo, and Grover. And I found Grover floating near the stick. So I picked the stick up too. Poor Oscar. He got filled with water. Luckily he didn't sink to the bottom of the lake. He has a crack in the side of his can where water seeped in. What an adventure today. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to set up our inflatable pool for Bert, Elmo, and Grover Sesame Street toys. We have a yellow, green, and blue inflatable pool. We're missing a few things. We need a slide, of course. Let's see. Oh, I think this yellow piece goes like that. That should work. And of course we need some water. Who's going to go in first today? Bert puts up his hand and it's okay with Elmo and Grover that he climbs up the slide first. Go down feet first, Bert. Ooh, a little extra push. And now it's Elmo's turn. Nobody pushes and everyone waits patiently in line for their turn. Oh, uh oh, Bert needs to move out of the way so that Elmo doesn't run into him. Now it's safe to go, Elmo. Finally, it's Grover's turn. Oh dear, Grover didn't go feet first, so he hit his head. Luckily, Grover is just a toy, but if you ever hit your head hard, you make sure you tell an adult. Grover's okay. Oh, look at all the toys in the pool. We have a sea lion. And what is this one? A crab. Oh, I know this one is a walrus because he has two large tusks. Now, most of you may think this is a lobster, but it's actually called a crayfish. See how it doesn't have its pinchers? Of course, an octopus, it has eight legs. 
Then we have a gray seal. Ooh, you know what this is? A shark. And a turtle. Did you know some sea turtles have lived up to 150 years? Ooh, this is one of my favorite mammals, a dolphin. And back here is a large black humpback whale. And we were very lucky to see one breach out of the water. And I even caught it on film. Elmo wants to see if his shark toy will go down the slide. Let's give it a try, Elmo. Oh, it got stuck. I'll just give it a little push. And Elmo, you can go down the slide one more time. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're visiting Sesame Street and Big Bird is in front of Hooper's store where Big Bird is selling carrots, bananas, and apples. Speaking of apples, what does the word apple start with? The letter A. Bananas starts with the letter B. And Carrots starts with the letter C. How many carrots does Big Bird have left? Let's count together, tiny fans. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's count the bananas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six carrots plus eight bananas. Six plus eight equals how many tiny fans? Fourteen carrots and bananas. Big Bird is quite excited about doing math equations. Let's do one more, Tiny Fans. Big Bird, this bedroom is a mess. Someone needs to clean up the toys. Let's count how many windows are in the bedroom. One, two, three windows. How many are in the bathroom? One, two, three windows, plus two windows, equals how many? It equals five. Sometimes it's easier to count using our hand. So if you already know there are three windows, I put out three fingers, and I start at three and add two more. Three, four, five. Five windows. Kitty knows when we are finished learning and playing, it's time to clean up. I'm going to put all the magnetic numbers back on the board. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our Sesame Street toys. We have Big Bird, Elmo and Grover. And they're going for a ride in our Playmobil RS 2x3. 2x3 means 2x3 wheels. 2 times 3 is 6 wheels total. We are heading to a fish hatchery today. How exciting! Elmo is the driver. Everyone put on their seat belts. Grover. 
and Big Bird. Off we go to see the fish. When we arrive, we see big fish and little fish. These fish are called salmon. There are many different kinds of salmon. And soon we will learn about the different names and how you can remember them using your hand. But first we get to go see the little baby salmon. And there were thousands of them. These little salmon are called fry and they are only about five to 10 weeks old. Can you see them jumping? Once they're old enough, they'll be released into the ocean where they get to live a life of freedom. Remember I said I would teach you different names of salmon using your hand? How many fingers do you have on your hand? Five, five fingers. First, we have our thumb. And our thumb rhymes with the name chum. Chum salmon, that's one type of salmon. And the next finger on your hand is your pointer. Now the pointer finger is usually the finger we use to pull up our sock. And that is the next salmon, sock eye salmon. After the pointer finger comes the big, tall, middle finger. And we call it the king because it's the biggest. And that's the next salmon, king salmon. Then we go to your ring finger. Your ring finger has silver on it. Well, sometimes. Silver salmon. And finally, the pinky. Reminds me of pink salmon. Let's go over it again. Thumb chum, pointer finger, sock eye, to pull up your sock. Middle finger is the king, silver and pink. And once you've learned that, teach your parents. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have some rare Sesame Street toys to celebrate Sesame Street's 50th anniversary this year. We have Elmo, Cookie Monster, Big Bird, and Oscar the Grouch. And they're each different colors. Say the colors with me. Red, blue, yellow, green. Now these toys are meant to have Play-Doh pushed through them for hair, but today we have surprises hidden and they match the colors of the toys. Let's see what's in Elmo. Do you know what this is? It's Santa's hat and Santa's hat is always red and white, just like Elmo. It doesn't fit on the Elmo toy because it has a clip. But maybe when we grow Elmo Play-Doh hair, we can put the Santa hat on. What's under Cookie Monster? Of course it's blue. A little unicorn eraser puzzle. These little puzzles come apart and then you can put them back together. There you go, little unicorn. What's under Big Bird? It must be yellow. It's a yellow sandal. Do you know who it belongs to? Her name is spelled D-O-R-A. What does that spell? Hola, my name is Dora. Thank you for finding my yellow sandal. You're welcome, Dora. Let's help Dora put on her sandal. Let's see what green object is under Oscar the Grouch. Mmm, a chocolate Easter egg with green wrapping. I'm going to open it up 
and I might just eat it. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.